A blockchain is a digital list of transactions that anyone can view and verify. Almost all cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, are powered by blockchain technology. Blockchains enable secure payments to be made between people who don't know each other without having to go through a central verifier like a bank. So how does it work? Picture a chain you might use for a ship's anchor, but in this case, every link on the chain is a chunk of information that contains transaction data. At the top of the chain, you see what happened today, and as you move down the chain, you see older and older transactions. If you follow the chain all the way down to the anchor sitting at the bottom of the harbor, you'll see every single transaction in the history of that chain. Because every transaction is saved on a blockchain, there are powerful security advantages because we can verify any transaction that has happened on that blockchain. That, in a nutshell, is what a blockchain is. Another way to think about a blockchain is as a ledger, which is like a record book or accounting list that a bank uses to keep track of all transactions. Like a bank's ledger, the blockchain tracks all the money flowing into, out of, and through the network. But unlike a bank's record book, blockchains are not maintained by any individual or organization. They are completely decentralized. Public blockchains, like the Bitcoin blockchain, are run and validated by a large network of computers all over the world, which we call a peer-to-peer -peer network. All the computers on this network can look at the same blockchain to validate these records and add new transactions to the blockchain. The blockchain can't be changed and is open for everyone to see, enabling everyone to trust it. There are thousands of blockchains. And the coolest part is that blockchain technology can be used for more than just cryptocurrency. Blockchains are also being used to record, track, and verify information in healthcare, real estate, media, agriculture, supply chains, and so much more. Who knows what the future holds?